All right, what's going on, everybody? This will be the first episode of my Capture the Flag series. If you want a quick introduction of what CTFs are, you can watch my video introducing CTFs and the general idea behind them. But for this video, we're just going to hop right into the first box. You've probably already noticed this is a pretty short video. We're going to be starting with Lame, one of the first and easiest machines on the Hack the Box platform. It won't take us any time, but it's a fairly good first box ever for getting started on Hack the Box. So let's get started. So we're going to hop over here and just make sure that the box is alive. So we're going to ping 10, 10, 10, 3. Box is alive. We're going to export IP equals 10, 10, 10, 3. Just going to save us a little bit of time. Speaking of saving time, I've already done the nmap for this box because I figured you didn't want to watch nmap run for like 10 minutes. So let's go ahead and jump into the nmap file. Ooh. Fat fingers already. Okay, so we've got anonymous FTP here. Um, that might be interesting, just kind of a quick, easy win if that's actually what that is. Might be able to find some file inclusion and things like that. Uh, let's see, we've got SSH running. Might want to check that SSH version there. And then we've got our hacker's favorite SMB running. So pretty much the way I'm looking at this right now is I'm going to check the anonymous FTP first because that could be, I mean, just a very easy win there. And then I'm going to check SMB because that's pretty much always a quick and easy win. They're just multitudes of exploits in SMB. So let's go ahead and check out FTP. FTP. I'm going to log in with username anonymous. I think I spelled that right. No password. All right, so we logged in. So that was accurate. We do actually have anonymous login for FTP. So let's do LS. Um, saying it was successful, but there is no listings there. So let's CD out, nothing there. CD out one more time. So I'm assuming we're not in three different nested empty directories. That wouldn't make much sense. So we're just gonna assume that something weird went wrong there and go ahead and exit. All right, next we're going to check out that SMB service. So let's go ahead and cat that out. We're going to pipe it to grep, which searches for a specific uh, pattern within a text file. And we're going to search for Samba. So we've got Samba 3.0.20. So let's go to search exploit, which if you're familiar with exploit DB, basically this is exploit DB on the command line. It's pretty amazing. So we're going to do search exploit Samba 3.0. All right, so we've got quite a few different exploits here. So we're specifically, according to Nmap, running 3.0.20. And I'm seeing right here, we've got 3.0.20 and then less than version 3.0.25. So that's going to be the one that I want to stick with. So just because I thought that, you know, I might want to use this in this uh, particular hack the box challenge, went ahead and started MSF console. So we are going to search for that exploit. Let's see, it's right here. Let's just try searching Samba 3.2. Oh, yeah, now we've got something. So we're looking for that username map script that looks like this one right here. So we're going to use this exploit. Simple as use, paste in the exploit name, and show options. It's going to show us what different options that we're going to need for this. We need an R host. The R port should be correct. So we're going to set R host equal to 10, 10, 10, 3. I think that worked. R hosts. that our host to 10, 10, 10, 3. Damn it. 10, 3. Let me make sure that that actually did it right and I didn't fat finger it again. 10, 10, 10, 3. I believe that was correct. I go P. 10, 10, 10, 3. Okay. So we've got the our host put in. The R port is automatically set. Let's go ahead and run it. All right, looks like we've got a shell. Make sure it works. Yep, we've got a shell. 
Um, who am I? So we've got root. So for a hack the box challenge, and if you watch my last video on basically what hack the box challenges and CTFs in general are, we're looking for a flag. Typically those flags are found in the home directory on Linux or they're found on the desktop and Windows machines. So we're going to CD home. Yep, we've got root.txt right there. So cat root.txt, we don't have tab completion. And then that gives us our flag. A flag in these capture the flag challenges is typically just a randomly created hash. So we're going to go back nano well we'll just echo it echo this to root.txt and it is as easy as that so cat root.txt so for hack the box i've already done this box um if you were doing this for a competition or something like that you would then put this cryptogra cryptographic key, this flag in the submission, uh, the submission site on Hack the Box or whatever other competition that you're doing. But for this, there's really no point. I've already rooted it. Um, if we were really just trying to dig in, if this were just one box out of you know a whole network that we're trying to exploit, you know, you would get a better shell. Try to get you know a, a shell with tab auto completion and things like that. That is going to make it a little bit easier to actually pivot through a network. But for right now, you know, for these purposes, this is fine. We can pivot through the file system just fine. There's really no need to go any further. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, uh, please hit like. It helps me out with the infamous YouTube algorithm. And it also kind of lets me know what people actually like to watch. If you want to watch more of this, then hit the subscribe button. I upload videos every once in a while. I don't have a very good schedule right now, but I'm working on it. Thank you guys for watching.